All right. Mr. Dipsky, just finishing up your, I think this would probably be your third kind of training cycle with MP. Yep. How are you feeling? Good. Strong. Good. Now, Dipsky is an interesting story. We've been technically working together since, I'd say, April of 2015, mm -hmm. about 18 months. And when AJ and I were over in uh, Baraka training for WCBU Dubai, we were putting together our Humilla Swag roster, the first ever USA Ultimate Beach National Championship. And Dipsky was the only non-elite grass ultimate frisbee player that we selected. Now, tell us a little bit, that's a kind of an interesting scenario because you're competing in a USA Ultimate National Championship beats division without any elite club experience, and you did tremendous. So Thank you. <laughs> you're, you're a grassroots kind of come up through Ultimate City Berlin uh, ultimate player. Mm -hmm. So tell, tell us just a little bit about kind of your history playing ultimate. Uh, well, I started out playing ultimate on the beach years ago with, I say ultimate, because nobody really knew how to play. Uh, and then we moved to grass and I felt much more at home on the grass because I was so originally a soccer player. And uh, a friend of mine converted me to ultimate and then after doing that for five or six years, Tim and AJ came along and I got to see what a real ultimate player was like and how a real ultimate player played and ran and threw and uh, so that kind of inspired me to increase my skill level and, uh, and become a better player and uh, over the years um, that was five or six years before before yeah, they moved back yeah before they moved back and so uh, I tried to continue to grow while they were gone and then when they came back just tried to step it up some more and that's the key, and Dipsy hit it right on the head, working on our skills and then also working on our functional performance training, and that's our classic peak potential SST, FPT. And we've done a nice job kind of blending those things together. The interesting thing about your first kind of two training cycles is we didn't really do any heavy kind of off-season style functional performance training. Most of the training leading up to Beach Nats was kettlebells on the beach, a little bit of plyos and stuff, but it wasn't until winter of 20, well, winter 2015, 2016 that we ran our first NP Ocean City uh, off-season athlete program. Mm -hmm. And it was just local athletes would come in, coached by Coach Chikowski, uh, three phases, traditional kind of program zero slash program one blended together style program. Uh, and before that, you had never really done any off-season strength and power development. I had basically never lifted. I had been in a gym before, and you know, I picked up weights, but as far as a serious lifting program or right. having any sort of instruction, I had never lifted before. Did you find having Coach Tukowski, having a coach showing you what to do helped? Oh, without a doubt, because I mean, I, I could mimic what other people were doing, but without the knowledge of, I need to keep my core tight, shoulders back, right. uh, good head position, and not let my body just kind of be all over the place. I needed to be stable through those moves, otherwise I'm not really doing anything. Your toes out to the side. Oh, I never would have corrected that if I was by myself. Good, so now from a developing strength and power perspective, you, you got stronger, I think you hit some good numbers on the deadlift, the hang power clean, side loaded split squats, your SLDLs got stronger. Um, how did you notice that block of functional performance training transferred to your performance? I guess we did that leading up to layout. Yeah. We, you also I went to layout after that. How did you notice that affected your game? Uh, I just, I felt stronger and uh, along with the lifting, we were doing some conditioning leading up to layout and uh, I just felt overall stronger and more prepared than I had before. But did you feel like that helped you run faster on the beach? I think so. Yes. Good. Now, we are about two and a half weeks out from Ocean City Beach Classic. We just finished up another little training cycle here. Um, today is the last one. We capped it off with some deadlifts, fun session. Um, and we've got a great roster shaped up for the Ocean City Beach Classic. It's going to be fun. Um, tell us your favorite lifting movement. You could say two if you like. What are, what are your two favorite lifts? I'm glad you only asked two. I'm going to take a three. Um, I really like the max weight 
deadlifting because that's the first time that I've ever felt my entire body just be like completely tense and working together. Every feels like every muscle in my body is working to lift that weight. Right. It's just it's just a cool feeling. Yeah. Uh, the next thing is when we put a couple of movements together. We were doing this box step up where you hold the kettlebell and you have an ankle weight. You step up onto the box and bring your your weighted leg up and hold. And I just, I just like the the movements that we put together. I mean, we've got to start with the individual movements and make sure that we have them correct. But when we put them together, I just I like the feeling of it. Right, and that's huge. I mean, we were doing donkey kicks, isolated flexions, isolated um, step ups before we put all those together into a very specific piece, which is just a goblet loaded, ankle loaded step up into thigh separation and holding that position. Um, good. Last thing is this, as we age as athletes, we've got to pay close attention to just maintenance. Make sure we're staying in a good position, we're doing our rolling, our stretching, we're always fighting battles, gets ah, this hip's always tight, this Achilles is always tight, whatever it is. Tell us a little bit about uh, you just how you found the maintenance to be, because I think a lot of the rolling and stretching you hadn't done before, and I'm hoping that even when we're not together, you can take a lot of these concepts and apply them. Um, tell us a little bit about your favorites, slash what you maybe learned about your body. All right. Well, like before we started lifting with Tim and AJ, I basically did no maintenance. I just I went out and played, and I was young enough at the time to get away with that. Uh, I'm starting to get older. And uh, I need to maintain my body. I need to take care of it so I can continue to play at this high level. And so learning how to roll and relieve those tensions before something happens. So like, uh, I've got this little thing that's tight right here, but now I know I can roll it, I can stretch it out, and I can, I can really get in there and work it so it gets better before it goes pop and then I'm out. And that's stuff you can do at home. You don't yeah. have to be in the gym. Exactly. Good. And it's knowledge that I can take home and and work myself. Like. Good. Well, hard worker, disciplined, consistent, open-minded, beginner's mindset. About all we could ask for. We're proud of you, Dipsy. Thank you. Can't wait for the Students Classic and some more training in the future. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> Or I should have known you were going to do that. Nice work, dude. Uh, I just hope that.